Hi guys! It's been a little while since I posted anything in this YouTube channel, but I thought that with the IB Environmental Systems and Societies exam coming up on May 31st, 2019, people might want to start studying. And even if you don't want to start studying, you probably should. So I wanted to do a series of review videos leading up to the exam to help you sort of get started and go over some of the most important content. So here for the first session, we're just gonna go over five quick general study tips. Tip number one is make sure that you know how the IB is grading your work. There are three things that go into your IB grade, your one to seven grade for your ESS course. The first is your IA and that is graded out of 30 points, but it's scaled to 25 because it's worth 25% of your overall IB grade. Your paper one is also worth 25% of your overall IB grade. The paper ones are almost always 35 points, but technically the IB can set the marks at whatever they want, and then they scale them down to 25. Um, and your paper two is worth 50% of your grade. So that's a test that you take out of 65 points, and then your score out of 65 points is scaled down to a score out of 50. And then the IB adds up those three numbers together for a score out of 100, and then they mark band the 0 to 100 scores globally on a scale of 1 to 7. Um, and the mark bands change every year. So it usually ends up that like about 3% of the global population gets a 7, a lot more than that gets a six, a lot more than that gets a five, the percentages go down a little bit for the four, and then the three and the two and the one are like pretty rare grades. Um, so it's a bell curve where you're most likely to be scoring in that four, five and six, and maybe a seven range. So when your instructors tell you that it's difficult to get a seven, that's why because you're being compared to globally everyone else in the world on how they're doing on their test. So just to have an understanding of that, I think as you're going into your exams, take some of the mystery away from what is happening with your papers. So if your teacher hasn't gone over that, that's good to know. Tip two is you should start reviewing command terms. It's easy to make like an online flashcard or a game set so that you can know exactly what each IB command term wants you to do. Some good ones to know are listed on this slide. Define, state, calculate, explain, and evaluate are five that come up a lot on the IB ESS exam. Um, define and state are usually like sort of one and two point questions. Calculations are almost always two point questions because they want to see your units and units are worth a point. And explain and evaluate or compare and contrast. Those are things that are more likely to come up when you're writing your essays. So you should probably have a glossary in your textbook with all those lists. If not, there's a ton of places you can look up what all of the IB command terms are online. I'll even drop a link into the bottom of this video so that you can look up the command terms if you need to. Tip three is to review the essay structure for your paper two. Your paper two is gonna be out of 65 points and 40 of those points come from two essays that you are going to write. You're given an option of four and you have to pick two. Parts A and B of that essay response are pretty straightforward, like respond to the command term things, but part C is graded on a mark band, and you should have by this point seen the mark band on pretty much any mock paper two that you've done in your course. It's included on this slide if you want to look at it. Some of the easy places to get points in this mark band are doing IB terminology and giving examples because some of the other stuff they ask you to do, evaluations and reasoning, that's like a little bit more nuanced. But as long as you feel like you understand the question and you're giving good examples and using good IB terminology specific to the course, then your instructor will probably, or your grader will probably look at that and try to at least get you into the top of whatever mark band they think you sit in for doing well in those two aspects. Um, tip four is to make sure that you review how to do basic mathematical calculations and operations. You should know how to calculate percents. You should know when to do addition, when to do subtraction. A lot of times, if they're giving you a complicated looking figure on an exam, there are some examples within the figure already of what they're asking you to do. So like if you have one of those crazy tables that gives you 
energy or land use percentage for the whole world and they ask you to calculate a few cells that have been left out, you can do a sample run of how those calculations have been done in the other rows and then just do the same thing for the blank boxes. And that's a good, um, that's like a good starting point to make sure that you're probably on the right track to getting the right answer. Always double check your math. Um, after you do a calculation, do it again, just to make sure that you didn't do something funny with your calculator. You are allowed to use calculators on the IB exam. And before you just leave an answer, look at what the question's asking you for a minute and ask yourself if the number makes sense. If it's asking you for a percent and the number's over 100%, you probably have the wrong number. So do it again, and eh, that's not always true. It's not true for like population growth. Um, but ask yourself, look at the question, and really ask yourself if the number that you are writing down makes sense given the information that you have. Don't just trust your calculator. Um, and always include units and show your work because those are easy ways to make sure that you're getting full marks. Tip five is practice. Start practicing now. Start studying. Do it 15 minutes a day. Go over your old exams. Look online. Google IBESS exam question resources and see what comes up. There are a lot of really dedicated teachers with a lot of great resources that will be different from what you've had in your class. And there's a great way to practice seeing some different questions. If you want to purchase the full IB ESS review course that's that I've done for LearnSys. The link for that is in the bottom. And more than half of the content is just available on this YouTube video in review videos. So good luck studying. If you have any specific topics that you want to go over, write them in the comments because I'll be looking at those in the next six weeks as I keep making some of these sort of quick and easy review videos. Thanks so much for listening. See you next time.